गवर्नर ऑफ कर्नाटका श्री थावरचंद गहलोत जी चीफ मिनिस्टर श्री बसवराज बमी जी यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर डॉक्टर भारती प्रवीण पवार जी मिनिस्टर फॉर हेल्थ कर्नाटका गवर्नमेंट श्री के सुंदर सुधाकर जी सीनियर ऑफिसर्स ऑन द डायस ऑफ द डायस लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई एम डिलाइटेड टू एम यू ऑल ऑन दिस मोमेंटस ओकेजन इट इज इंडीड ए हिस्टोरिक मोमेंट नॉट ओनली फॉर द हिंदुस्तान एरोनेटिक्स लिमिटेड एंड इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट ऑल्सो फॉर दी ऑल कंट्री टू हैव ए स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट फैसिलिटी टू मैन्युफैक्चर क्रायोजेनिक एंड सेमी क्रायोजेनिक इंजिन आई एम टोल दैट इट विल कैटर टू द नीड्स ऑफ द इंडियन स्पेस प्रोग्राम्स दे आर बाय एडिंग टू द मेनी अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ आर कंट्री आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑल द पीपल associated with this prestigious project i understand that this facility is created with joint effort of hal and isro high tech equipment have been commissioned to achieve the stringent requirement of space programs hal collaborated with isro in 1983 and extended its manufacturing expertise for the equipment it required in the space programs of isro what followed proved the world the capability of our country hindustan aeronautics limited has contributed immensely to indians self reliance in defense it can be said that HAL has been the force behind the forces. HAL has time and again demonstrated its capabilities in research, development, and manufacturing of various aircraft platforms. Indian Space Research Organisation has been the pride of the nation. When this institution started operations. in the 1960s india was still a young republic facing challenges of severe poverty and illiteracy but the potential which we held was immense the rapid pace with which isro has grown caught the attention of even the most advanced and technologically developed countries sincere efforts and dedication of isro has made india emerge as only the sixth country in the world to have cryogenic engine manufacturing capabilities the satellites launched by isro give us deep insight into various aspects of defense and communication the remote sensing satellites or those who is help in communication with our focus etc help the people at large in their day to day lives is raj contribution in bringing the communication revolution in the nation has made it possible to reach even the remotest areas of country most importantly as each rocket is launched by isro it propels the aspirations of more than 130 crore people of our country hal and isro together contribute to strategic defense and development both the organizations have played a major role in the development of various equipment and programs which have reinforce the security and development of our country hal with its high end facility of manufacturing defense related equipment has proved to be an 
invaluable assets for our country. The glorious past of HAL and ISRO gives us an assurance that they will continue to play a significant and positive role in the future as India enters the Amrit Kal. By 2047, when we will celebrate the 100 years of independence, the world around us would have changed drastically. Just as we were in no position 25 years ago, to imagine the contemporary world, we cannot visualize today how artificial intelligence and automation are going to be transferred life. We have completed 75 years as an independent country. We are looking ahead at the next 25 years as the period to reimagine India and make it a developed country. It is our joint responsibility to ensure that the India of 2047 will be a much more prosperous and strong nation. Ladies and gentlemen, on this historic occasion, I am reminded on my esteemed predecessor, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, though we know him as the missile man of India, but there was another aspect of his life on which I would like to throw some light. He constantly pursued the path of technological development along with social inclusion. Science can bring a phenomenal revolution and touch the lives of masses. Dr. Kalam to touch the life of the masses by designing the Kalam Raju stent. It was an indigenous coronary stent which helped thousands of patients as it was affordable in comparison to the imported, imported coronary stents. What I mean to say is that the spirit of indigenization which was pursued by Dr. Kalam has a great positive impact on our society. The hard work and research pursued by our scientists can save the lives of many people. I ask the scientist community of India to pursue the path of social responsibility. Recently, we faced the major threat in the form of COVID uh, pandemic, but the resilience and extraordinary effort our doctors and scientists help us deal with the crisis. Our response to the pandemic has been appreciated everywhere. We launched the biggest vaccination drive in human history with vaccines manufactured in the country itself. We have even crossed the 215 crore mark in vaccine coverage. In combating the pandemic, our achievements have been better than those of many developed countries. For this feat, we are grateful to our scientists, doctors, nurses, paramedics, and the staff associated with vaccination. Ladies and gentlemen, every challenge makes us think about the need to face it and prevent its concurrence. I say this because today we need to prepare ourselves to face not just the traditional challenges, but even the unforeseen ones. I am happy to know that learning from our past experience, the government has taken the initiative to encourage research and development, especially in the field of virus discovery and its prevention. I am glad to know that Indian Council of Medical Research has provided exemplary support for effective COVID management and is expanding its research infrastructure. National Institute of Virology, Pune, under Indian Council of Medical Research, is also taking all possible steps to increase R&D in the field of virology. 
it is good to know that the National Institute of Virology has been designated as one of the collaborating laboratories of World Health Organization. The expansion of the National Institute of Virology through journal campuses across the country, catering to the demands in the different geographical regions is praiseworthy. I am pleased to have laid the foundation stone of the first touch campus of National Institute of Virology at Bangalore through virtual mode today. In the end, I would like to once again congratulate HAL and ISRO for the development of the cryogenic engine manufacturing facility. Before I conclude, I would like to extend the Sarah greetings to the armed forces, to the scientists and technological community present here who continue to make their motherland proud. My best wishes to all of you. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Karnataka.